guys welcome back to the video with your boy dion this is the fine font the last and final video of uh me transformation in this yard at this point then we're gonna have to see if the grass takes and we're gonna see how it well grows so what i'm gonna be doing today in this video is leaning out topsoil i'm gonna be putting the seedling on top of it and you guys already know with topsoil you can't just throw it down anywhere you got to lay it down evenly about an uh, inch and a half over top of all of the all of the like sand and dirt whatever's on your ground and then you can put the seeding on top of that and you're gonna have to water it so that's what we're gonna be doing i already got like two bags down over there you guys can see and uh let's get to it man all right guys so what i have to do is take the, the bags off my truck then lay them down then rake them out and keep repeating this process i'm gonna be honest it was actually really annoying because carrying the bags back and forth it gets to be heavy and very tedious and uh especially when you're doing a lot of bags um, as I as I keep getting farther and farther in the video, you'll see that I gotta keep getting more and more bags and keep laying them down. We're gonna need more than uh, 20 bags. I'm probably gonna need around 60 because we gotta do all of this. And all the way down this side over here. So we're probably gonna need about 60, 70 bags. I'm gonna go to the customer right now. So I'm actually heading over to Lowe's because um, obviously they had to sit in the last clip. Um, we needed more um, bags. I know I should have just gotten the route of uh, the route of uh, just filling up the dump trailer and getting like two yards of mulch. I mean, it's topsoil and then bringing it back. But um, the customer wanted to do the bag bag method and they wanted to go with uh, the bag. It's totally fine with me. I have no problem with that. But it just obviously you gotta buy like 100 bags or whatever we gotta buy because he already bought 28 i'm thinking about 60 70 or 80 actually i'm thinking about 80 more bags to fill up the whole rest of his yard with topsoil and then um i can lay down the seeds and then you know put the sprinklers in i'll show you guys those sprinklers um we ended up getting um i think they work the best for his yard and um yeah so stay tuned we're heading over there it's about to be hard I'm trying to get 80 bags on the back of my truck because it's gonna be 80 bags you gotta keep moving back and forth but uh Stay tuned here, that's what we're about to do. All right, I got a whole pallet, guys, because it was 65. So I ended up just getting the whole pallet. Um, my truck is kind of squatting a little bit, and it's crazy because I have a 350, but uh, it's squatting a little bit. So I had to put it on tool and haul mode, and uh, I'm heading back over to the customer's house. I'm gonna start spraying this all around. It's five o'clock right now, but I'm willing to stay up a little bit later today because they only live three minutes from me. So it's not gonna take me long to get home after I get done with this job. So I'm gonna get this done, get paid, go home. See you back when I'm at the job. All right, guys, so here's the whole pallet. I gotta return the pallet. They said that I'll return it after, but uh, I'm gonna start taking this off and I'm um, taking it to the back over there. My hand, because I didn't bring my wheelbarrow girl today, so <laughs> it's about to be beastie. But uh, let me know how you guys would've got this done. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna grab three or four of them at a time. I'm gonna take them over there, obviously put them down. I'm gonna probably empty them out over there and come back, get another three or four, do the same thing, process, process, keep doing it until they're all gone. Let me know down in the comment section how you guys would, would do this because um, I'm just wondering. I mean, obviously, some of you guys probably would have had the wheelbarrow. I should have brought mine, but I wasn't thinking. But yeah, this is the predicament I'm in. But let me know down below. I'm gonna start moving this. All right, guys, this is the progress. This is 17 bags at 65, and we have to go that much more. So um, let me know down in the comment section if you think uh, I'm gonna be able to make it with 65 or if I'm gonna need more. Uh, obviously, I gotta fill in some patches, but. I mean, I'll spray it out, so, yeah, so let me know, this is 33 bags, guys, still only got half, we got half more, I think we gotta go down this side, I might have underestimated, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it works out, alright guys, I just got done installing the C-spot bags, alright, so, this is your final time to be rolled in, let me know what you guys think, if it's gonna be a more than enough, or if I didn't have enough, look at this guy, but I I need five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. It was not enough. I mean, we got all the way to over here. Like I said, I think we need about need about twenty to thirty more bags. So we need to be down this way. I made it to right here. So that whole way out. I just gotta make it down here. That's it. I mean, I might need to go in those spots because we're gonna roll thin over here. There's no problem. Like. And when I go back, I'm just going to make sure I got enough. Might, might just get 35 so I can fill in these little holes and stuff like that. And it won't be patchy. So obviously the grass will take a little bit better. And we won't have to worry about it just having straight sand on it. Because obviously, seeding 
probably just won't do good with this sand. So that's all for right now. I'm gonna be coming back tomorrow and finishing up probably. So thanks. Alright guys, so I laid down the 35, I mean 65 bags of uh topsoil. Oh man, I hate using uh bag soil man, it's the worst. I must rather get two yards and be done. Just get the wheelbarrow, go back and forth, back and forth until it's all filled up. And then we've been in all good. But the bags is just, you know, you can't gauge it. You don't know how much is really in the bag, how much it's gonna do, but it's fine, no big deal. I put down season five. It actually only took me like an hour and a half to do it. So put it all down. It's a little thin, so I'm getting 35 more bags and I'm getting uh, the, the 35 also. So um, I can fill up the, the, the other side too. So I'm heading over right now. I'm not gonna be coming back to it tomorrow. I mean, for you guys, it's gonna feel like it's two seconds, but for me, it's gonna be a good night's sleep. I shower, some food, you know, the whole jizz. But yeah, so that's gonna be pretty much all for this day. I guess we're gonna run over for three, run over until three days, which isn't that bad, but yeah. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Welcome back. This is the last and final day of this project. I already put down three bags. Um, so we're gonna put the rest down, put the seating down fertilizer because we have a separate bag of fertilizer and uh yeah that's what we're about to be doing so yeah so stay tuned for that um we got 30 some more bags just put down three so let's get it all right guys so i guess she just got finished doing it so i evened up put it all down did, <coughs> did the best i could um it looks pretty good actually so let me show you guys what it's looking like so i got that side all finished up come on here all this stuff i know some parts you can still see that I'm underneath dirt, but you can't be perfect about it. I mean, I used, what, 120 some bags, I'm pretty sure, so. 120, or 130 bags, so. If you have to get advice from me, don't use bags, guys. Just go ahead and get two yards of mulch, three yards of mulch, or topsoil, and do it that way. But this was the way that I was told to do it by the customer. Yeah, this is what, how they want to do it, which is fine. I have no problem with it, but yeah, it looks good now, guys. So now I'm about to lay down the um, seeding and the fertilizer. And this is the sun and shade, so it's actually for both, which is great. And uh, we're gonna lay down some stocks. But yeah, stay tuned while I do that, guys. What's up, guys? So putting down the seeds. Start putting it down a little bit over here, you know, spreading out evenly across the whole grass, the whole ground. Um, I'm kind of, I don't want any of it to be piled up together, so I'm kind of like trying to spread it. I should go get the rig, but you know, I can just do it by hand, no big deal. So I'm just spreading it with my hand. Yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys see that. All right, guys, so this was the best part of the whole process. I'm not gonna lie, it was very easy. All I had to do was just sit there and throw some seeds down evenly over the ground. Sometimes I had to rake too because they pile on top of each other sometimes. But this was definitely my favorite part for sure because all I had to do was throw the seeds down, walk around, relax kind of, you know, just act like a farmer kind of in a way. So that's what I felt like right here. But it was fun, easy. But I'm going to let you guys watch. Yes, I know it needs more water. I was just putting some water down because um, I still have to set up the sprinklers and I wanted to get some water on it while I was sitting. Um, obviously, when I set the sprinklers up, and you know they're gonna it's gonna be watering it daily, every so couple hours, and it should work. But um, yeah, I just wanted to throw this down. I didn't even have to put this in the video to be honest. I was just doing anything to be honest. But uh, yeah. Seating is laid down. You guys, you have seen the last cup I was watering a little bit. I mean, yeah, just a little bit, not too much. But, um, and I got these uh sprinkler heads right here. These are the ones we got from Home Depot that I was talking about. So I'm about to lay them down and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys what that's have done. I mean, what that looks like after. But, um, yeah, this was, was the whole job. Uh, what it ends up. Let me show you. See, this is all the seating down. Sprinkle, sprinkle it all down nicely. I mean, you could do by hand, or you could get the uh, push cart and have it do it for you, or the handheld one. 
but I decided just to draw it down by hand because I don't know. I'm flipping my wrist, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, this is what it looks like, guys. So now I'm gonna lay down the, these uh these uh, sprinklers, and uh, that's pretty much what the job entails, man. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, show your boy some love, and remember to you know always tune into your boy's videos. But uh, thank y'all, and I hope you have a blessed day. We got this one doing his job over here, all up down here. But then uh, the hose is messed up, so they're getting a new hose. We're gonna set it up, and this one actually turns 365. And it's sure if you get this whole grip, this whole yard good. Cause we turned it around first and it was puddling, so. Gotta put this back here. It's puddling all up, so we turned it off for you to get a new hose. And it should get the whole thing, but it was hitting the tree, which kind of sucks, but you can't control that because the tree is here, so. And then, this this side is gonna shoot these two, this one right here, and there's another one over here, they're gonna share the same hose, cause there's only two faucets, so. That one's gonna do the same thing as the other one on the other side, cause it's the same. So I should be turning this one off very soon because it looks like it's watering it pretty well. And that's pretty much going to be the whole video, guys. So I was pretty much trans uh, redo somebody's grass in their backyard or redo your own grass in your backyard. You got to, you know, everything you want to do, man. So thank you. Peace out. All right, guys, so this was it after one week. Obviously, um, the soil got messed up from the rain, which kind of sucks, but it's starting to grow, so it's starting to look good, and I might have to go back and fix the soil because the rain messed it up, but hey, that's what it looks like.